Leon Sukernik is buying the Hilton Casino in Prague and in this video I'm gonna just quickly talk about what that means for the EPD Cash Games 2019 in Prague. How are you doing today? My name is Andreas Frehley and I talk about poker news, poker life and poker strategy. So if that interests you, hit that subscribe button and notification bell if you don't want to miss a video on this channel. By buying the Atrium Casino in the Hilton a Hotel in Prague, Leon Sukernik has promised that the EPT cash games this year are going to be a lot smoother than the previous years. I think that from my experience the last few years when I've been playing there, the cash games have already improved. Um, four years ago it was a disaster, but uh, let's see how it goes this year. Like one of the good improvements that we're going to see this year is with the basically king stuff moving in, um, basically running the cash games, we're gonna be playing in euros and no longer in check crowns. So it will facilitate the seeding process and make games a little bit smoother that way. Um, the rake is unfortunately a little bit higher. It's a race to kings uh, standard. So the smaller games, the 2-2, two, two, the 2-5, uh, no limit and the 5-5 five, five PLO, I can be raked at a cap of 5% 20 euros. So it's gonna be more than the previous years. And it's also like last year, a dealer drop of two euros, which is about 40 euros an hour, which is gonna be exactly the difference between the King's Casino rake and now the rake in Prague, which I don't know why it's necessary because by uh, raking 5% cap 25, you're making so much money from the cash drops alone that you could easily pay the dealers the same amount if it weren't for those two extra two euros. But anyway, um, what is also gonna be some special ruling is that when there's a chop pot, they're only supposed to rake a 10 euro cap. When it's 400 or less, it's gonna be a 10 euro cap. And surprisingly, there's been a small rule that when you're running it twice, you're actually paying the rake twice on each occasion. I'm not sure whether that was phrased incorrectly. I'm obviously gonna to have to ask that, but uh, just gonna you're gonna to have to pay attention to those small details if you're playing for six days at these cash games. Other than that, the games are going to be running 24-7 again, which is good, at least for the players. Um, sometimes, yeah, for the dealers, it can be not so good because maybe they're forced to work longer hours depending on what their contracts say. I'm not sure about that because I've, uh, I've talked to some dealers and I know that they're working sometimes 12 hours, but whether it's voluntarily or whether that's like a condition to be dealing, I don't know. Um, but yeah, in general, um, I hope that things are gonna be much smoother with these changes and also the blinds are gonna be the same. 10 euro, 10 euro pillow is probably going, what I'm gonna be playing the most um, during the stay, depending on what the action is. And yeah, looking forward to heading out to EPD Cash Games. If you're heading out there, let me know in the comment section below and um, you can check out the links, basically showing you the, all the details as well, because I've posted them in the description. Now, thank you guys for watching this video. I'm gonna see you for the next one.